What is going on, everyone? It is David Palmer, Leo King, and Rich Lop here for the Awakening Experience in the weird leap year. We have an extra day in February, so it is weird. It's a weird time out there. We have a really good show for you today. What's going on, Rich? How are you doing, bro? What's up, man? Doing a little you bit know? better now. Pushing through. I'm, I'm kind of sitting on the edge of my seat waiting for them to throw this shit show, man. We all know it's coming. And that's the thing, like... You know, they're, they're warming us up to it. They're telling us. They're showing us. They're getting us ready. And I'm thinking, now you're the astrologer here, so so you correct me if I'm wrong, but like I am so foreseeing that as soon as Aries season comes, it's fucking on. Is that? I you, mean, yeah. You, I mean, especially this fucking total solar eclipse going through America, which of course, if you're not going to be there, you should be because this is only going to be once in 20 plus years and we're doing it with Team Light out in Bastrop, Texas, right outside Austin. Tickets are still available. Make sure that you join us. Teamlightstore.com forward slash events. Booyah. But yeah, it's fucking going to be. With, with everything that's happening already at this moment, like just right now, I mean, you and I spent two hours going over shit and we're just like, holy crap. Mm. But I think it's like, there was that weird point where I think we both came up with like, man, how much of this do they really scare people to not manifest awesome shit right now because like sure there's gonna be crazy shit going on but it's the scare technique you're even seeing it in other podcasts and social media to be like prepare and hunker down go into a bunker like you know yeah instead of like what if what if we have this power within us to manifest the life we want like i feel like that's like the big kind of weird thing going on at the same time too is what 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 do you think especially with all the frequencies that have been shifting i mean the weather shit that we just found out i mean we're in socal and they're fucking admitting oh yeah we're just fucking doing seed in the clouds like 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 there's uh, so many changes happening in people's auric field their spiritual field the earth field and then all the fear and all the financial shit and everything that's happening at this moment right now do you, I think it's to thwart people off their ability to manifest. I don't know what yours, Absolutely. your theory might be. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with preparing. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I prepared myself a little bit. I got me, got me a little handful of gold and silver. Nothing spectacular. I don't have like bars and bars and bars. No Fort gold, Knox but, yet. You know, I got me a little handful of gold and silver. Maybe, I don't know, somewhere between five and $10,000 worth. You know, got me a, a, a probably about a six month supply of emergency food. Got me my RV parked over here in your studio, which I appreciate. You, <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, appreciate you letting me do that. Uh, but you know, I'm prepared. But living in fear is what we don't want to do. That's yeah. what I think they're trying to get you to do. Not just prepare. Absolutely prepare. Go get you. Well, I'm not a financial advisor, so I, I can't give financial advice, but. Go invest in whatever it is you want to invest in. Personally, I chose gold and silver. I'm not saying do this because I'm not a financial advisor, but, you know, whatever you want to invest in, get you a little asset on the side that makes you feel comfortable, get you a little bit of emergency food and whatnot, but don't worry about that. Don't sit yeah. around and think, oh, my God, I'm going to have to hunker down. You know, I'm going right. to, you know, living in that, that, that frequency of fear, like I said in that one episode, the universe behaves like water. It will lift you up if you make yourself light, and it'll drown you if you make yourself heavy. And yeah. that's what we're about to see. That's the same thing that happened last leap year, election year. You know, right. some people, some people, 2020 was the most amazing year they've ever had in their life, like me and I, and you, from what I heard you say. Yep. For some people, it was a fucking complete and total catastrophe. And I think one of the big primary reasons for that is because people like me and you didn't live in fear. Right. I wasn't afraid of nothing. No. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm good. And, I, I mean, like I said before, I, I didn't kind of start dropping down in frequency until I st saw everybody else start playing the game that they were wanting them to play. I didn't think anybody was going to fall for it. I like, <laughs> no. oh, psh, ain't nobody going to play that fucking game. And then the toilet paper started flying off the shelf. <laughs> people are putting masks on. And I'm like... Oh, hell no. That's that's when I kind of dropped in frequency. But as far as the general fear that everybody else was living in, I, I refused to live in that fear. So the universe picked me up and carried me straight through it. And I think we're going to see another another episode of that come up, you know? 
Right. Whether it's financial or whether it's all these other things that are going on, government shutdown, fucking UFOs, fucking AI Biden, um, you know, the list goes on and on and on. Or today, crypto, right? Like it, fucking crazy Coinbase, the American stock, you know, top company that's for crypto, zero balance in everybody's fucking wallets. Like, I feel like that's a huge preparation for what we're going to see with banks or all the billionaires selling all their stock, all the fucking politicians selling their stock right now, but they're looking at this huge stock market moment, but they're all doing it now. But I think that you hit something that's so small, but I think huge, which I know you love to fucking mm -hmm. help people see. I, I mean, I was in LA, so I thought it was just me. Before they even talked about masks, there were people fucking putting masks on. Oh, wow. Really? I didn't know if that you saw that in Vegas no, at the time. I, well, like, we were in Arizona. But. Like in fucking the, before lockdowns, I'm in... LA Marina Del Rey, my place and going, this shit's going to be weird. Cause I knew the astrology or something. This is not, this is going to be me. Uh, I'm going to go move to my studio. Cause people, I just started seeing them wear masks hmm. walking around. I'm like, this is going to get ugly. People are going to fucking fall for this shit. So I was like wondering just cause I was like, people, it's like there was things, there's things that are put out before they officially say them. I think that's a big part of what we want to even talk about today is kind of like, you know, they throw all these like little things out that you don't think are so big and then they become a big deal. So it's like right now, the, the crypto crash today is no irony when we're seeing all the bank stuff. I mean, and, and especially just in this last week, Jeff Bezos sold $4 billion of stock, right? It's like, Oh, okay. Fucking, Jamie Dimon just sold, I don't know, Rion had just hit us up and then I just confirmed it. I forgot how many hundreds of millions to billion dollars in JP Morgan Chase, which he's the CEO of. All the celebrities are selling their homes. It's like over a hundred major celebrities, 20, $30 million homes are selling them right now. Then the bunkers, you can't, the, the line's too long to get a bunker, <laughs> right? Why? And it's all weird because then there's that news story that just came out in Oklahoma and Ohio about preparing for the eclipse. Now, they've never done this in the media before, right? They always like mock astrologers about eclipses or they just say, oh, it's the eclipse. And they always put like a cheap like, you know, video up on the news. No, prepare with groceries, fuel. Make sure you do your appointments early. Traffic. And make sure you have extra electricity or things if the power goes out. Mm. Like, are they trying to finally <laughs> connect people that this shit actually matters? Like, yeah. Or the phones that went out right after we did this show. Remember mm -hmm. we were talking about that? I'm like, oh, no. fuck. I think they're going to take the phones out. And they took the phones out fucking eight hours later. But they didn't take everything out because that's where you're right on it, right? It's like. It's going to look like they fucking mm -hmm. will take it all out, but it's like, they won't. Right. That was what was weird about that whole fucking combo. But I really think that's, what's interesting is there was three fucking X solar flares back to back to back. And then they are acting like, Oh, I don't know if it's that it's more looking like maybe cyber terrorism or whatever. It's like, I feel like the, the biggest thing that you would try to hide would be an asteroid coming towards the earth right? You would create every scenario you would think of a fake AI by it in whatever, like the whole thing to get people distracted on all this stuff to not think about a major event that is a possibility or understanding where we're at in the solar cycle and what's happening with the sun. I don't know. I, but I feel like that they're really focused on this eclipse moment because even people online now and all the Christians are all focused on that. It's the uh, right. I forgot the name of the town, but all Nineveh. those Nineveh. Yeah. All those names of those cities that are along the clip eclipse path have Nineveh in them and they're reciting the Bible and they feel like this is the moment of fucking the rapture. <laughs> so it's getting pretty fucking extreme out there. I'd mm -hmm. say, you know? Yeah. I mean, if, if you want to dig up that rabbit hole too, that's, with, with where we're at right now, all the timelines are still overlapping yeah. each other. So depending on what your beliefs are, eventually the further 
down this path we go, depending on what your beliefs are, you're going to make it to a timeline that matches what you believe. Yeah. Like I, I do believe that there are some, maybe not all, but some hardcore fundamentalist Christians that will see a Jesus come down from the sky. They'll take that timeline because, because humans have dumped so much energy into that religion, there is a dimension out there that has a heaven and a Jesus and a Jehovah God. Well, there's many, many, many different versions of it, but it exists out there, but it's just another creation, just like any other dimension out there that, you know, you hear a lot of near death experiences where people say they die and go to heaven, or some people say they die and go to hell because those dimensions really do exist. Now, by no means is it a fucking eternal, you know, you're not, you don't live for eternity in heaven. Most people die, they get there and then they look around for a little bit and they're like, oh shit, I created this. And then they leave. Same thing with the hells that, you know, but, right. but yeah, so, so I think that depending on what your beliefs are, you will make it to a timeline that resonates with what you believe, you know, to make it into whatever new earth you're going to make it into. Um, now I don't, again, depending on how, insanely christian you are you know i i think we're really getting to that point here in the next five to ten years it's really going to get to a point where you know what you focus on is the timeline you're going to take yeah you know and how we fucking get people to understand that their beliefs create the reality i don't know but that's we we need to know that we need to understand right now that you what you focus on is what you're going to experience what you believe is what you're going to experience. What you spend all your time watching and listening to, and that's what you're going to experience. So it's, it's getting to the point where we're almost at the end of the line. If the people that aren't listening, they're going to sink to the bottom. And if they don't wake up out of it, they're going to take that lower timeline. And <laughs> the rest of their existence on this planet is going to suck. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, the idea that, well, it's not an idea. It's an actuality. We're going to the eclipse in Texas April 7th, 8th, right? We're going there with a purpose. We're going there with an intention to be with other light workers, to spread awakening. So even if the news reports are saying to prepare for fuel or we're not scared to go there because everything's going to work out however it's supposed to work out. So I feel like that's like the point of manifestation that people lose is they, is they maybe put something up, but then they don't walk towards it. Now that's like the most basic shit, but like too many people right now, I think are not realizing that maybe a lot of the shit that we get so scared about ain't going to happen when you're not walking towards that. But if you are, COVID was a great example of people walking towards a manifestation that wasn't theirs. Like a lot of people are going to start walking into fucking shit that they don't need to be because they're not setting their own awakening and their own manifestation. I mean, I'm setting the intention because Nineveh is a name. I'm going to create Nineveh tampons to fucking hand <laughs> out to all the Christians when the eclipse happens. <laughs> it sounds like a great new company, Nineveh. <laughs> Leak free, you know? Yeah, yeah. Judged but. judged by God. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're but but they are they're making it to a point, like I said, this is my prediction. Now my, my predictions are kind of bigger and, and more long term. Right. I'm not really good at the little short term ones, but retrospectively over the next year, watch. The, it's gonna be orchestrated and constructed in such a way like that. Everything is going to start happening, and it's going to happen in such a way that people understand what's happening. Like, like I said, it wouldn't surprise me in the least. I highly suspect that when election time comes around, they're going to force Biden into another term. That's, that's the prediction that I'm going with right now. And it would make perfect sense because right now, it's no secret. Everybody knows that nobody wants that motherfucker in office. Everybody, it's no secret. So if they were to do that right in front of the public, the public is going to see that's bullshit. It's going to be clear as day. That's, that's fucking rigged. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that make sense to I mean, yeah, that would, that would be a revolution, right? That, that like it, it takes something as crazy as that to be a revolutionary war, right? Because like that, that especially like today was his, uh, you know, 
getting his checkup and everybody for the first time, finally, after three years of people being like, this fool needs a cognitive test. And what did they say? No, he doesn't need one. No, nah, she said. She, yeah, like, he, she, he, look at what he does every she day. Said, she said he passes a cognitive test every day by going from topic to topic. I'm I like, know. he stumbles around from topic to topic. <laughs> That's passing the cognitive test. <laughs> you know what I I'm mean, saying? Or like the people in Michigan for the primaries just voted over 100,000 people did, uh, you know, uncommitted, like don't want any of these people. And don't want, and then did it as a message against Biden about what's happening in Palestine and a message about the wars. And it's like, how are they, you know, that's what's going to be weird is the astrology shows this election is not going to be fun. I keep telling people, nobody's going to like the outcome, right? Like, no, there's not going to be, whatever, however you slice and dice it, they make Trump look like he wins and then they pull it away because of some weird thing. And then they put somebody else in, and then, you know, or, especially after this eclipse energy, we're going to start coming into the summer and that's going to be when the DNC and the RNC have their big event. And they, if I could pick who the candidate is going to be, and there's going to be swap outs there. That's what the history shows for the DNC with somebody we don't want on any, anybody's side. But I, I really do feel like it, it's weird because Tucker Carlson just said yesterday that he doesn't believe Joe Biden's real. Yeah. And I was like, thank you. Finally, somebody fucking saying it. Because like it, he's, I mean, he's not re, I mean, I, that, I, I laugh because I really don't put energy. I don't, if you're, if you're waking up upset and having a hernia and having horrible fucking shits in the morning because of fucking Biden, <laughs> when we know he's not real, like it's obviously, I think they might've tried masks. People think it's, it's totally AI. I mean, I was just showing you today. You could take a picture like these fucking AI guys in J Japan just fucking made it. You could take a picture and make, so it could just be a picture of me like this and make me sing like I'm fucking the best singer, talk as if I'm in a movie, like and if and moving my face and my body and it does not look any different. So the fact that this is already out there. Yeah. Like, sorry, but it's not real. So I think that a lot of the weird awakening stuff is awakening to what's actually real. Right. And that, like, when you look at what's not real, I mean, even this week there was huge doc, Dr. Boz. I didn't really follow her, but she just finally told her whole entire audience, millions of people. She was one of the biggest advocates for the shot. I was wrong. I fucking ruined my kid's life, my family's, all my, um, patients. And she's doing the big flipperoo. Then you see people doing the flipperoo about Biden. Then you see, but especially the COVID shit, people are now doing the flipperoo because in Australia, there was just a huge case that the first line workers who chose not to get the jab, who lost their jobs, said it was a human rights violation. And the courts have said it's a human rights violation what happened. And that's now opening it up everywhere. So the, like, if you think of it from all angles, all these government officials, all these celebrities endorsing all that shit, they're all freaking the fuck out right now. Right. Then you have on top of it, the fake fucking stock market, right? It's all been propped up after the 2020 fucking collapse for COVID to push all this fucking government money into only these select big corps that have just boomed and put, and then all we see that all the fucking people in the government, they get the inside trading and then they're fucking making all the trades they're selling. Now they know it's about to drop, but they're telling everybody else in the American public, no buy, this is your time to do great. And da, da, da. it's so fucked up. If you really think about it, that people haven't caught on. That's what they did at the be in the beginning of 2020, all the CEOs left the highest number. I just showed you that article, the highest number of CEOs left ever in 2019, right before too, like December, the Disney CEO, everybody. And then they pulled their stock out. And then I went to New Zealand and that's what's happening right now. People are going to New Zealand or Hawaii. And that was what was weird about the Hawaii thing is all these elites are going to buy in Hawaii after what happened in Maui. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. It's like they want to be on their own little Island. I guess Epstein Island isn't around no more. So, <laughs> you know, I don't know who's going to be the head of that one. Zuckerberg Island. Like my, my daughter's going to be talking about all the weirdos on Zuckerberg Island. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm, I lean towards the idea that I don't think any of those people are real. 
Uh, I'm kind of extreme with it. I, I, I'm careful. I mean, I, I was in a call with Mark Zuckerberg in 2015. Yeah. Well, yeah, back in 2015. But yeah, in that but old today, time. Today, yeah, today's, today, yeah. I, you know, I, I'm careful how often I touch on this. <clears throat> but if you want me to give you my honest, firm belief, I don't believe any of those people are real. I, I seriously am of the belief that, that the majority of them were taken care of a while back. Now, Zuckerberg, I don't know, but a lot of them, I think, you know, were taken care of a while back. And what we're seeing is AI or, you know, like the fucking picture. You know, if they can just take a picture and make you sing, imagine what they could do with Jeff Bezos or, you know, goddamn Elon Musk or whoever else. So, like I said, it's just a big show. Like the title of the video says, the rehearsal is over. We've been rehearsing for it and... Yeah. and whatnot, and now they're about to put on the big shit show. And now, retrospectively, now again, I don't want to push fear either, so I don't want to make people scared because at the end of the day, we're all going to come up out of it. Well, most I, of us. I, I got to say, I want to interject, though, because this is the most important part of the combo. I think, is that when we did the tower card on this show, in order for the tower card to come in somebody's life, it's scary. But yeah. it's the best thing that ever happens in your life. So mm -hmm. the structures that are holding this bullshit up have to fucking fall. And I think that that could be scary, but the star card on the other side is fucking amazing. And I think that's what scares people is the attachment. And also, it's not even attachment to some people. Some people, it's reliance. You know, it's like, I, I rely on the system. I rely on the comfort of my brain based upon what I was projected on TV of how life's supposed to look, how the cars are supposed to drive, how the, how the world's supposed to look like, that the president's supposed to do this. And that this is how the world, the, my school board better look like this. Like the, the doctors tell me to fucking inject this in my body. I'm supposed to do that. Like, you know, that's the tower card that's coming down. Mm -hmm. Or there was a big new thing like, They've been switching all the gas pumps to different card readers because no longer can the actual gas attendee run the pumps. They're run off a fucking network now. So like that's what's been going on over the last year is all the gas pumps have been putting in new fucking chips that are through networks. So the gas attendee is not controlling the pump anymore. So and it's funny because I've been to some gas stations where they, in Arizona to fucking like Texas to here where like they're just like, I have no control of the pumps. Like, you know. So you can't prepay inside anymore? Well, no, you could do that. But I'm saying like, the, like if something were to go down, like the controls of what's happening oh. on the pumps for gasoline, they're networked and done in another place. And a lot of it's AI systems and the same way that a lot of our websites are for payments and all that kind of shit, right? Like, it's not, you know, like the old school days. We're like, hold on, my credit card machine's not working. Let me get the phone line back in and I'll, I'll take some cash. Like, and I'll give you whatever. Like, they, the, the attendant can't even give you the gas. So that's why a lot of people have been tripping lately is because it's like, well, okay, look what happened with the phone situation. And they still haven't given an answer. Obviously, the solar flares are kicking up. The solar maximum is about to hit. And that's kind of the odd part is the natural part of it, or even the pole shift, which kind of has been out of a lot of people talking about it, but we've been seeing it happen. And at the most extreme rates over this last hundred years, especially in the last 40 years, it's just fucking gone. Like the North pole is almost in Russia, you know? So the poles have been shifting. Yeah. On earth. Right. And that's why the GPS systems, I don't know if you've ever been on your GPS and your phone, you look like you're going down a street and then it puts you on the side street next mm -hmm. door. That, and then that, uh, they have to readjust all the GPS satellites and do the math based upon the pole shift. Huh. So all those things, and I know that sounds scary, but I think <laughs> I wanted to interject because it's like the tower card, and that's where tarot can teach so much. The tower card is a card that looks scary, but it has to come to an end because it's fucking... It's become toxic. Yeah. Well, I mean, what's another thing that we said about the tower card too? It's not really sudden, abrupt, and unexpected. You're warned that right. it's coming. The storm you can see coming. Yeah, you can see the storm coming. We They're showing us. We know it's coming. I mean, even, okay, I can even understand if you don't believe people like us warning you. I get it. Okay, who, who the hell am I? I'm just some yeah. dude. But now it's all over the damn mainstream media. Now it's it's out there for everybody to see. 
So when this shit hits, if you're taken by surprise, like the dude that you showed me earlier, uh, I forget what his name is. And when, when he was saying, you know, all the CEOs are selling their stocks and whatnot. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't even know who that guy was either, but, and he was saying stuff like, I know this sounds crazy. And I'm like, no, if this sounds crazy to you, you got a problem, right? This should be common fucking sense. I can't imagine. I, I mean, I really try to sympathize for the people who are that reliant on the system being somebody who's a first timer here on earth to me it's common sense i mean makes perfect sense i couldn't imagine the beings who have been playing this 3d game lifetime after lifetime after lifetime and they are so locked into the matrix that they can't even begin to wrap their mind around the fact that this shit's all about to crumble and right. it's going to take them by surprise that that's going to be kind of sad honestly it's getting to a point now where you know, in the beginning, back in 2020, I, I was wanting it to happen so bad just so I could laugh at them. But now, like, I really actually honestly feel kind of sorry for the people. Like, I feel sad for them. If, if you know, we've been through all this and you're still reliant on your 401k and you're still wearing a fucking mask and you're still listening to the news, I genuinely wholeheartedly feel sorry for you. And I, I don't even mean that disrespectfully. I'm not trying to be condescending. Like, I feel bad for those people. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's got to be a sad existence. Well, and I think that's the part about this reliance upon this outside entity that's really toxic, which is not just the American government per se, but it's the world idea of structure, which the world is really a group of amazing, awesome human beings that we can make it however we want it to be, but we, you know, like the, this, the, like this article, Jeff Bezos, Jamie Dimon, and Mark Zuckerberg have sold stock worth about nine billion this week. This is just yesterday, or today's twenty eighth, so twenty six. Two days ago, this week, the big dogs sold their fucking stocks worth that much money. All the fucking politicians are selling their fucking portfolios, and then I thought the craziest thing was seeing all the fucking celebrities selling their homes. So when, when you're seeing that all at the same time, you know, is this Bitcoin pump really what it is? Oh, wait, hold on. Just the number one fucking app in America to trade crypto and buy crypto goes down and puts everybody at a zero balance. That's what's been happening over the last three, four hours. That's a signal to me. Like that's the beginning of, uh-oh. And when you brought up the 401ks or you brought up people like the government shutdown, are they going to avert that? Because starting Friday, it, it's not just Friday. It goes into the following week. And then all these programs just get shut down, including it gets into food stamps and it gets into all these things that people are relying upon. I feel like this is about knowing how to rely on you and your divine energy, like, and, and those around you. And not be so afraid. Like, what's there to be afraid about? If you go 500 years ago back, it wasn't like you were checking in with the fucking Pope and being like, can I get some food stamps? <laughs> the Pope would fucking send a cardinal out and, sh you know, probably lay a tart out and be like, here you go. You know, unless you want to be one of my altar boys tonight. Man, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of sad, man. I mean, like, like I said, and and they're you and I just found this out. They're making a movie called Tarot, and yeah, they're putting man. it as fucking a dark horror movie that it's evil. Yeah. And it had eight point nine million views for the trailer. How did we not? I don't know how I missed that one. <laughs> I, how did we miss fucking the movie called Tarot? And of course, they used only major arcanas. And only the bad ones. I was only like, the where's bad. the sun card? Yeah. Where's the fucking, you know, the, it was like, and then they did the hangman and they, they show the window and the, like an old hangman that we, you and I would draw as kids. Mm -hmm. Like that is so cheese ball. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's why I've been talking lately about how I have such a, a strange relationship with my career. Cause you know, like I've been very open about it here lately. And I feel guilty for feeling this way, but I am so embarrassed to be a part of that community. <laughs> I just am. I mean, I'm just going to be all the way vulnerable and upfront about how I feel. I'm so fucking embarrassed to be a part of the tarot community. I never meant to. I was just playing around, being bored one day, trying to pass the time. I had no idea. 
that the universe was going to shove me in a corner and say, this is what you're fucking doing. Now, I understand my spiritual mission. I get it. I understand that I use that to bring people in, and then I drop seeds of knowledge in their mind. Right. Hopefully, the seed blooms, you know? I'd like to think that it does for the majority of the clients that I have. I'm sure that there's some people who just do not have fertile soil at all, and for that, there's nothing I can do, but... You know, and just seeing that, seeing that right there is, is the epitome of why it, it just, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like being a part of that community because now, now it's, it's hitting the mainstream and they're, they're trying to make it look like it's this dark, evil thing. When, if you're actually using it the way you're supposed to fucking use it, you know, if you're using it for light, you can really use that as an energetic diagnostic tool that can really seriously help people improve their lives. But it's just like anything else. It's just a little tool. The way I look at the tarot is it's like I use it like a mechanic uses their little diagnostic tool. You yep. know? Like when you go into a mechanic shop. Yeah, they put an OBD2 in. Plugs the fucking yeah, OBD2 thing into it and says, oh, okay, your cylinder four is misfiring. You need an O2 sensor and this and that and blah, blah, blah. But most readers we'll just diagnose the problem and say, okay, well, you got about 2,000 miles and you're going to break down. Okay, have a good day. They just tell you what's going to happen. Like, oh, you mean they're like the, the fucking mechanics that just show up and go, oh, that doesn't sound good. It sounds like you need a fucking $4,000 transmission and yeah. you need you need a new motor. Mm-hmm. What? Did you look at this or that? No. Yeah. It's a, Every time I hear that, it's a new motor. Yeah, yeah. And then they go sell it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's that. like, but, but I was going to say, it's like, I want you to think of it this way, whether it's astrology or terror, or the spiritual movement, it's doing what Bitcoin's doing. It's doing what the stock market's doing. Right. There's 6 million tarot videos on just YouTube. There's 3 million YouTube videos of astrology. So, okay. Right. And then everybody in here, they're like, well, my Bitcoin's doing great. This is exactly what the 1929 stock market crash was. More people, people don't know this fact. Over 75% of Americans own stock in 1929. Now, of course, that's been inversed where most people don't. But in the last four years, everybody's jumped on a train. So if you think about it, everybody's thinking it's going to be crypto. And then they think it's going to be all these currencies and all that shit. It's all to be the biggest grab of all time, right? And like that's, that, that's why you see everybody selling right now. Even the last week, why are they selling even though they're peaking in these moments right now and it's going higher? Because they don't care about that extra on top that's the foam of the disgusting fucking shit that's about to happen. Mm-hmm. They don't want to eat foam, Right. Because the foam is what's going to sell everybody to fucking, I need to get it. And then when the fucking crash hits, it don't matter anymore. You know, I got to hold on. I don't want to lose out. And right now the greed meter's super high. And so it's the same thing of like tarot to me or astrology where these people just do it to do it. Mm -hmm. I want to, I don't want to miss out. Yeah. But a lot of people are going to, not be tuning in to people that were like, well, you were kind of fun because you gave me exactly what I wanted to hear yeah, to yeah. hopefully get my ex back or whatever. Yeah. Or in astrology, oh, you were just saying that to make me feel better about what's going on. You don't want to tell me the truth of the astrology, what's really happening. Yeah. But that's where I feel like we're at in everything is it's all this ramping up from every corner. It's like fucking the most badass ramps coming up, but like, there is no fucking bowl to fucking fall into. Yeah. Yeah. Or drop in. Yeah. And, and that's what's, I think where I think people don't have to be as afraid if you're not in that reliant stage. Like I'm reliant on crypto to change my life. Okay. Good luck. I'm reliant on the government to figure this out and keep my social security and my 401k. And, and then they're going to do the right thing. Yeah. The best thing that was ever uh, used, just I saw today, was by Alex Jones. Because, you know, NATO yesterday just had this huge meeting being like, with all the world leaders of NATO being like, yeah, it's on the table for us to put troops into fucking Ukraine. Right? 
this, but it was so funny. Biden, there was a clip of Biden a year and a half ago being like, we will never put Abram tanks into Ukraine. What did he do a year later? Abram tanks, right? So when they say, oh, we're not going to do NATO and troops, even though it's on the table, but we're probably not going to do it. It means they're going to fucking do it, right? Same thing goes with like all these situations right now in life where you're like, nah, they ain't going to do that. It's like, they say they ain't going to, like, we're never going to do vaccine mandates. Oh, what did they do? Like, so anybody right now thinking, oh yeah, no, that ain't going to happen. Just look at everything that's been said won't happen. That does happen. So I think that's like, not about to be afraid, but I think I'd be more afraid being in cognitive dissonance, being like, oh yeah, fuck yeah. Like, nothing's going to happen. And then fucking shit happens. Mm-hmm. I think the, pre- the preparedness is the spiritual part of yourself. And also remembering that in the moment, how things happen is going to be your best way through things. Because mm-hmm. if you're too overly structured, things aren't going to go exactly to plan. You might be like, I'm going to go to that gas station. I'm going to go to that place. And it's like, oh, but that gas station has 600 people at it right now. And there's a fucking weirdo with a fucking AK fucking 47. And he's a fucking migrant across the board. And he's shooting up people. Uh Oh, what do I do now? Uh Oh, my whole plan. Right. It's like, Maybe like loosen up a little bit here and fucking if you have an intention in the universe to manifest, it's going to come back to you. It sucks that we kind of have to go to fucking kindergarten, (laughs) but people are forgetting about that. Like they're getting caught up. People don't realize that a lot of it is all being caught up. Like this whole crypto thing to me is scary because I said today would be the beginning of this crazy shit. And that to me was scary. Like, Oh, no balance. Don't worry. We're going to fix this. Oh, okay. No balance. Huh? So all these people are buying Bitcoin and all that shit. And then they don't have a ledger. Most people don't have a ledger. So I think it's really going to be scary. Good people, luck. When people wake up and their bank account says zero. Right. And yes. then, and then they have their crypto, but that that'll be zero. Yeah. Yeah. People, I mean, and I get people that try to ask me financial advice all the time. And I tell them I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you what to invest in or what to do. But people will ask me things like, well, should I pull some cash out? And I'll say, well, just play around with this idea. What if you pull $20,000 out of the bank, but the U.S. dollar isn't worth anything? Right. Then you may as well just have a bunch of notebook paper. It's sharp toilet paper i mean i'd hate to have a fucking paper cut on my asshole <laughs> you know yeah so even though I, i'm not a financial advisor if i was to recommend anything it would be something that will always be worth something what would that be well there's that video that we just watched about that opium they make the fucking shit that the, those bunkers that are fucking for the elite like it was crazy like the cars roll up in a fucking Huge ass fucking what looks like a normal fucking like, you know, nice billionaires fucking house like, oh, a fucking like garage opens up the opposite way and they go down and then all of the cars are there. And then it's like, hey, my buddy's over. Fucking, there's a geomagnetic storm happening. There's World War Three happening. Just come on down and stay in the fucking beautiful bunker that has pools and all these fucking things in a bar and you can smoke in here and look at my whole art collection behind this invisible wall and fucking you know what i mean it's like okay so like that's what they're trying to sell people to go towards but it's like god that would be i i I would go crazy in a bunker i always say like every movie i've ever watched with bunkers especially like war of the world Like, you know, it's like, okay, like they're hiding out from the aliens that are sucking everybody's blood and eating them, you know, or any movie just sitting in a bunker. Like, I'd just rather go out and figure out what the fuck's going on because that's just the best way to live. Like, I feel like I'm like, I'm not going to sit in a fucking bunker. Doesn't look like fun. No, I'd be hell. Like, oh, I got all this nice shit. What are you going to just play video games and listen to music and just sit there in your fucking bunker? You know? Yeah. You know, it's like you already know the the billionaire dude. He might have a hot wife, but he's already got his AI robot fucking <laughs> sex toy fucking ready to go. Like, you know, if she dies or if he dies, she'll probably use the AI robot too. She probably has the code to it too. So, I mean, like, you know, but that that's where it gets all like 
the fact that all this stuff is being put out to me, it feels like it's, it's to get people to manifest. I don't have the ability to do it. Right. Like Mm -hmm. supply and demand. I can't have a bunker. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh my God. So what are you going to, what kind of timeline are you going to pick then right there? You're already picking a timeline. Like I'm fucked because I don't have a bunker. If anything, I think with geomagnetic storms and weird shit that might happen, I'll take my uh, chances in the world with people than I would being stuck in a bunker. Cause those people in the bunker might lose out on the most amazing thing. Maybe the geomagnetic store takes out something, but it supercharges some fucking weird ass fucking fusion of some fucking weird thing and creates this awesome fucking electricity. And they're down there like, Oh God, you know, like that, that's, I think people have to realize that they've revealed everything at this point. And I think people are looking for more, but it's like, if, if you go to COVID, like it's fucking out. It's uh, it, it, the last fucking five to six weeks are literally like, here you go. We lied. It doesn't work. It fucking is in your body. It replicates fucking spike protein. No matter what your, your gut biomes are being destroyed. The sudden deaths and the total of the amount of excess deaths are in the millions Here you are. The fucking lockdowns were all human right violations. Like it's it's, it's, so, but it's weird because the COVID thing is kind of like, okay, they've shown you that, but people are kind of just like, eh, or I, I, I shared one of the videos and you know what somebody put on my YouTube in the community of the video of just this one super vaxxed out lady that now a doctor who a lot of people follow who finally admitted it and showed the peer reviewed papers and, they wrote, this is so hard for me to watch. Hmm. It's like, I wonder what about all the people that yeah. left high vibe? What about those people? You think oh, I mean, <laughs> trust me. I get, I think about that one once in a while. You think they'll come back <laughs> or are they even alive? That's that. Somebody had brought that up on high vibe. Like, are they even alive? They might not. And be. I was like, that's scary. Yeah, I think I, I mentioned this on uh, an episode or two ago that the numbers, the world population, it was, <clears throat> I think in 2019, it was like 7.8 billion. Now it's six something billion. We've lost like a billion fucking people. This has been the biggest fucking genocide. I mean, uh, the m- makes the Holocaust look like a goddamn. I know, and it's funny because like, they won't update that number, but if you look at, people like Ed Dowd or any of these, you know, insurance agents that are all like, and then worldwide, like looking at all, like they haven't been able to collect the census data yet for what it is. But if you do the math Mm -hmm. and what's happened, yeah, it looks like over a billion people have pieced Mm -hmm. the fuck out and everybody's like wondering what, what's going on. But there was that one video I showed you that guy who was a super vax guy who just posted the unvaccinated one. And mm-hmm. he's like, and, and I'm just saying it because it's true. And he goes, you guys don't have to deal with it. He pointed at his brain and he went, every day I think about what the fuck's about to happen to me, whether it's now or in the next five years. You guys don't have to live with that. And that's worth every kind of a win. And that you guys were afraid of the government, which is the good thing to be. And he fucking, I was like, wow, finally fucking it's all. And then you get all the fucking weird shit with AI Biden to the war shit. Oh, they just want to go have world war three now because they're all out of money. That's what the whole stock market crash brought on world war three. So, or two at the time, but you know, it's like, that's what's scary is the fact that everybody's like, whether you go on PayPal, you can buy crypto. If you're on Venmo, you can buy crypto, right? This has all been the biggest scam to take fiat currency and convert it into a fiat currency based because it's what, that's really what it is, just token version of things. Mm-hmm. Because when people think the banks go down, how are you going to be transferring your crypto anywhere? And, and not everybody has it, so... That's why in the fucking bunker fucking videos, what do they show? Gold, silver, and paintings and tangible assets. Mm -hmm. And that big test, I think, over the last two years has been with the rate kites and all that stuff is like what people should be more scared about is, did you just say, ah, I'm just going to let go of this and let go of that and let go of that because I want to lighten my load. It's like, that's exactly what they want. And then put it into, let me put it in a stock. Let me put it into this. 
when all that disappears, a fucking painting is going to be worth more than people realize. Or your fuck something that he could. Here you go, fucking. Yeah, I would do anything for a sprite. I could get. I throw your fucking Bitcoin out of my face. I could give a fuck. I want a sprite. You know, I have, to, I have a bunch of Bitcoin. What else do you have? That's it. I can buy anything. I'm so super powerful. Oh, that's nice. Well, I'm sure that there's somebody who really wants Bitcoin. <laughs> like Bitcoin, I hate to say it. I've been telling people like it's not going to be the saving grace. And that's what scares people. People, most people are, most people jump on the bandwagon like, oh, no, 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 it's crypto, it's crypto. When you start seeing the bandwagons get so big in Pluto, whenever it's changing signs, it's always, it's just like Obama. That's what happened in 2008. It's Obama, it's Obama, it's Obama, 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 right? That was the, it was a worldwide bandwagon. Mm -hmm. Now you're seeing a worldwide bandwagon on crypto. Oh my God, that's how you know, Uh uh, uh-oh. I've learned my lessons as an astrologer. Whenever it's Pluto, whatever they're pumping and whatever they're pumping, and that's literally funny because they say pumping. Whatever they're pumping is exactly what they're going to deflate. Mm-hmm. Well, it's always a distraction. Yeah. Every time they're telling you, look over here, they're always doing something over here. Yeah. Or they're trying to distract you from what's going on over here. That's that's awakening 101. That's like common sense yeah. right there. But so many people still do it. I've never understood that. I, and a matter of fact, I used to think there was something wrong with me because I remember asking myself, how does everybody wake up one morning and just be on the same bandwagon. Like I wanted to be normal for so many years. I'd be like, how do I do that? Where is everybody hearing about this? Cause the next thing I know I'm waking up, I'll wake up one morning and everybody is interested in the same thing. And I don't even know what they're talking about. I'm like, how the fuck, where did you hear about this? What, it, what, I don't, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's a, something they've been talking about on the news or a fashion trend or a, a fucking music artist or, you know, whatever the case may be. I mean, BLM, Free Palestine, it's yeah, all the same. Yeah. Uh, how, how, where, or, or maybe, maybe, here's what I'm kind of starting to think now. I'm thinking that a lot of that is done artificially, you know, and, and what they do, because this is what, this is what they'll do to the, uh, the music artists. You don't have to have like millions of followers to get grabbed up by the industry. They'll go grab somebody with 200 followers and, right. and, and, and give them this contract and sign it. They'll give them a million fake followers for the perception of it. I mean, that's Justin Bieber roll all into one right there. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that just came out that P Diddy had to, you know, yeah, yeah. Poor, poor Justin Bieber had to take get, take it from P Diddy in the ass. Like, that's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty rough. I mean, I could, you could look at Justin Bieber now and see he's going through his Kurt Cobain moment, like ready to peace out. That's what one of my big predictions here in this Pisces cycle is. You're gonna see the Kurt Cobain moment, and it's gonna be Justin Bieber. And how did we not pay attention? It's like he's fucking riding on his shoes, just like Kurt Cobain right now. He looks like Kurt Cobain. He's dressing all grunge, and he's walking around with his wife, and fucking like he's obviously hitting the Fenty. Mm. So, but they do that on purpose, right? And they're gonna make it look like a big oh. And that's what they do, like the whole Taylor Swift thing and then her fucking boyfriend who got all drunk after he won the Super Bowl and he can't even stand up. And then people are like, oh, you should be careful of him now after they made you like make sure that you should defend their relationship. Yeah. And then now it's like, no, we got to save Taylor Swift because he's a drunk and he's fucking and he got all crazy on the coach because he's all vaxxed up. You know, like, yeah. Some, okay, so check this out. <laughs> you kind of popped a door open that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Something weird happened to me back at the end of last year. It wasn't and with P. Diddy, right? It <laughs> weirded me out so bad that I didn't talk about it. I kept it to myself because this is one of the strangest fucking things that's ever happened to me. Now, I'm not, I don't think, I'm a channeler. I don't think so. But I started being bothered by the spirit of a dead celebrity. Brad Renfro. You know who that dude is? No. (laughs) I didn't either. I didn't fucking know anything about the dude. Uh, uh, He was in a movie called Bully. Uh, He was in Tom and Huck. Did you ever see that movie? Oh, I saw that. Remember the dude that played Huck? 
Yeah. Yeah, this is Brad Renfro. Oh, okay. All right. Now Back I know. in 2008, he died of a heroin overdose. Now, I don't fucking know anything about this dude. I mean, he was a child actor. He was a big, famous child actor. I don't know anything about him. I think I may have seen that one movie of his. Don't know any fucking thing about the dude. And then all of a sudden, I start becoming fucking obsessed with this dude. I don't, out of nowhere. I like saw his one of his videos or something like that scrolling through my feed, and I became obsessed with this dude. And his spirit was bugging the shit out of me. And, and finally what I ended up concluding after months of doing research on this dude and what happened to him and, and digging into his case and who found him dead and who called 911 in this, I think that he was murdered. It wasn't an accidental mm. overdose. And that kind of reminded me what you said, you know, they kind of do Kurt this on Cobain, purpose. Yeah. yeah, they kind of do this shit on purpose. I mean, look who he was with. Courtney Cox or Courtney, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. And, yeah. and, and they, they kind of, but I didn't want to talk Courtney about Cox, that. I'm like, but what, Courtney. what the fuck is going on with me? What is wrong with me? This sounds crazy, you know? But like I was seriously being bombarded by some fucking random dead guy. I think wanting me to put the message out there that my death was not an accident. And, and that was so fucking bizarre. And I, I don't think the majority of these deaths that happen in the industry are accidents. Maybe some of them are, but I, I would be, no, I mean, like think about Tupac, like that was fucking bullshit. And that motherfucker was spitting mad truth, too much truth. Fucking took that fool out. But when you think about Kurt Cobain, it's like, Dude, I don't know why people are obsessed with him. Like, that guy was like a sorry... I mean, he was a great musician, but, like, his life was horrible. Like, that guy's fucking was writing fucking the weirdest poems and dark fucking sadistic shit. He was going down a fucking hellhole for a year and a half before he died. And he got to... I did a whole thing in my Saturn Master Class, and it was just, like, looking at his Saturn and all this crazy stuff, and he started drawing on his shoes and shit. And that's what Justin Bieber's doing. They're both Sun Saturn. They're both in the same transit. The same transit that killed Kurt Cobain is about to happen. And now Justin Bieber's like all on X, like all this stuff's coming out about P. Diddy fucking and all the guys that he fucked. Because P. Diddy just got accused again for another fucking sexual thing, right? And then, of course, we all know that he's connected with Will Smith and fucking their little fucking gay parade. And then that's who killed Tupac, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. And, and if, I don't know if you remember, but when Tupac died, what was the song? The number one song that came out was P. Diddy fucking, I'll be missing you. And that's how he got big. Right? So it's like, of course, you would go kill the guy and then, you know, Biggie'd be killed. And then it's like, oh, okay, yeah, let me be the guy who's trying to bring them all together as if he was like trying to put him in a threesome. Like, let me, let me put you all together. And that's what's like, happening right now is there's going to be some because the the celebrity world's at its fucking death right as far as like there's no celebrity nobody gives a fuck right but they're gonna they need that hook line and sinker again they need Mm -hmm. that oh justin bieber why wasn't i paying attention to him but he's married to a baldwin who a baldwin right now is in a case about killing somebody and that family will do anything for fucking shit so when you think about Kurt Cobain's death too, of course they'd set him up with a fucking woman who's a fucking drug addict too. And how did her career go after his death? <laughs> now people don't want to put those pieces together and be like, uh, astrologically either. And I think that's what's scary is like people aren't ready for what's just going to start just like, oh, what, wait, what, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. And those will be distractions because the government shut down or Biden fucking AI being discovered to where they just throw him down the fucking, I don't know. Maybe they put him in a coma and then he resurrects himself and he becomes president again. You know, yeah. Wearing Trump's new shoes. (laughs) I don't know, but you know, like we're at that moment right now where as we're talking, There is no more, well, let's wait and see. It's happening in front of our faces. Mm -hmm. Like, like obviously, financially, the government shut down to crypto looking like it's big, but, oh, okay, Coinbase is just going to just say, oh, your your balance is at zero. We'll fix this. The banks are selling all their fucking stocks. Jamie Dimon, CEO, Amazon, fucking... I mean, if you are the ex CEO of a, an owner of Amazon and you pulled yourself away and he already had cashed in a couple billion recently, but to pull a $4 billion pullout, 
why do you need that much money now when, and, and obviously ever since the pandemic and now it's over the pandemic, Amazon is going down, right? Like nobody's buying as much stuff. Right. So obviously he sees the writing on the wall. And he's like, I'm getting the fuck out of this motherfucker. Now mm-hmm. I'm getting my cash now. But wh- why? He has the biggest bunker in Texas where he drilled the largest bunker in the world. And he's got an atomic clock in the underground bunker. Why does he have an atomic clock? That's been my question. Cause it's like, is he trying to make sure that he, cause he is a Capricorn, make sure that he continues the understanding of time <laughs> because it's going to be lost. Or maybe that, Atomic clock isn't so much about that, but a time machine time or time. No, oh, I don't know. That that That's the other thing I've been thinking about is like with CERN and all these things all been ramping up over these years. It's like, obviously there's been some sort of like shift in the fucking timelines already. That dude, I'm telling you. Right? <laughs> like, that, like there was some video I got from a friend of mine and it's some little kid because these little kid channelers are fucking the be- they're better than anybody. I think I know who you're going to talk about. That little kid talking about the timeline, how he was just like talking about CERN and what they did, and it yeah, yeah. shifted it just, just, just to the next universe over. Mm-hmm. And he was talking about the Mandela effect and so forth. Yep. But it's like the way that he fucking described it, I was like, fucking, this kid's fucking gold. Like this is exactly what's happening. But I feel like they're trying to make a massive adjustment again. Like they're trying, that's like the whole story of sliders. Like, oh, we missed our, we, we're trying to get back home. Mm-hmm. And they never get back home. And it's weird because the way sliders ends is about a virus that fucking comes through a vaccine that they're going to put to all the people. That's what's crazy about sliders. Hmm. They, they get to a world to where everything feels normal again, but out of nowhere, it becomes this crazy fucking virus with this crazy fucking shot that everybody needs to take. That's not going to be a good shot. I'm like, Oh, okay. So that's where they got maybe some of those ideas, but well, uh, you know, every I'm like, uh, cause like uh, if I think about the timeline shift, I'm like, I, if I try to be the person I was at like 15 or 17, not going to happen. Like I can't even connect to that person. Yeah. Or even four years ago, there's something that, already shifted. Yeah. The astrology proved that too. So I feel like they're going to try and do something neurotic and crazy, which I think a lot of people think is like all these other things, but it's like, no, they're really going to, maybe the bunkers are for in case it goes wrong. Like what if dinosaurs come back and now we're in Jurassic park? Cause that's actually been one of my predictions is like the Jurassic park thing is going to come back. Like, you know, they've been talking about ice sheets and they've been finding, you know, old, viruses or old DNA or, you know, they find some like frozen, let's say dinosaur. And then they fucking do the exact same thing with all the genetic shit. And they're going to mm-hmm. pump it full of Pfizer or MRNA and replace different genes and fucking, and then they try to shift the timeline. It's like, Oh, there's a timeline where there's still dinosaurs here. And like, Oh, get in your bunker. <laughs> that would be the most hilarious thing ever. Is if we all ended up living in Jurassic park. <laughs> But like that's not a crazy idea. No, you know? no, not really. The only the only thing I hope is that fucking time doesn't speed up any more than it already has. Because I don't care what anybody says, time has sped the fuck up. And the Earth too. Yeah, for me, I think it's seriously doubled. And every time I say it, somebody wants to say, "Ooh, it goes faster the older that you get," you know. And it's like, no, no, something else happened. Because yeah, I agree. It, it you know it would speed up a little bit the older that you get, and it would go by a little bit faster. But dude, 2020, I'm telling you, after 2020, time doubled. Right now, in this moment, to me and my perception of time, I swear to God, last year was 2022. Like, for me, a year feels like six months. So every time I start to think last year, I can't believe last year was 2023. I still feel like I'm in 2023. It's just like every fucking year, and it's going faster and faster, and it's starting to scare the shit out of me. So I'm hoping that that kind of like levels out at some point here. Like, do, do you know anything about why that may be? Yeah. I mean, it was weird because the, the transit that caused this whole pandemic and all that was the massive conjunction of Saturn, Pluto, the sun, Mercury, all at the same time in also Ceres and Capricorn, which rules time. So for that to happen, it would be a complete timeline shift. 
And I, and I said in all my videos, time as we know it has ended, which means that the way that we sat in time before is different. So if we really have shifted to like, let's say the next universe over that it's not different, but it's the time of this universe that feels that fast that we're not used to. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And like, that would be weird. The other thing too would be like, all right, so there's all these weird fucking feelings that we all feel or just weird situations or, you know, liberals are now Republicans, the old Republican party and Republicans fight for fucking no war now and free speech while liberals want war. And you know, it's just like, it's like, it's like obviously we've shifted yeah. in a fucking crazy part, but the astrology of what's coming up here is like, it was weird in looking at, if you look at like crazy math, right? We're in a place where we have quantum computing. Now we have like the understanding now of these really weird fucking like worlds that we're literally creating on the internet with AI to the new AI video shit coming out that it's like, and then this IVF thing that is happening in like Alabama where they're like, stopping IVF. And I thought about it from a spiritual perspective. I'm like, why would they stop it? Well, if you're injecting sperm into an egg in a lab and putting it away, they're saying that that's a baby. And I know, and I can see how people scientifically are like, that's not a kid. But the truth is, what if that's a frozen soul now that can't come in? Like, how many souls and how many IVFs are there and how many eggs that are fertilized that aren't put in are souls that are attached to that egg? Yeah. Like, so when you think about the other weird part of this reality is so many people are dying and going out then anybody trying to come in because the, the, the rates of how to have birth now is so bad. And then if you look at how many people took the shot, they're having the most miscarriages. They're having babies early. They're having to have surgeries in the womb to fix the baby's heart for the vaccinated. And that was what was weird is I found that out with Sophia while we were having Aurora, like they had a whole line and all these women just kept going in and in and in and in to go have their babies have surgery while they were in the womb. I don't even know you could do that. Yeah, it's like the new fucking thing, I guess. Fucking wild. New timeline, you know. Like. <laughs> but there, there's that quantum, all these like things happening and then people not being able to come in, being frozen. So that kind of reminds me of the pods in the Matrix, like all those fucking refrigerators just full of fucking eggs. Or like there's that one guy in Utah who, that's what he does and he put his own sperm into all of the eggs, you mm -hmm. know? It was like... So all the people that are born in that fucking area are all fucking related. <laughs> yeah. I always wonder what that guy's wife thought. Like, and like, did he, did, did he see an ugly bitch come in and go, Hey, I'm not jerking to that. <laughs> <laughs> Let her have this other guy. But like, <laughs> but that's the thing is it was the guys that were with their wives. That it wasn't the guy's sperm. It was that dude's sperm. I almost feel like there's like, if we're talking about the wizard of Oz and that's kind of the weird thing about our fucking thumbnail, man, there's some dark shit happening. And I don't think that people want to put the spiritual aspect to it. It's like those eggs, the quantum computers, like what, what, why did that come out exactly when all this shit came out in 2020? There's definitely been some sort of weird seeding event happening and there's the lowest birth rate ever. And, they lie too when they say, oh no, it's increasing. It's increasing with the most miscarriages. It's increasing with the most babies that are fucked up or babies born really low weight. They don't have any hair. You know, Aurora, you know, we don't vaccinate. So we, like, we never like, took the COVID shots. We're not going to. And our baby is so fat and fucking bigger than every baby. And it's one of those things that is hard because just this weekend, Sophia's in a mom group with all these kids. And I told her to just fucking say it because she's really respectful. She doesn't want to like, but all the fucking babies are really sick and not doing well and have ear oh, infections shit. and all this shit. Right. And mm -hmm. one of them asked like, how are you guys doing on the vaccinations? Like to the group. And I said, you fucking lay it down girl. 
And she's like, yeah, we don't vaccinate Aurora. That's why she is the way she is. And they all know Aurora. Like they all ask questions like, why does she have hair? Why does she have teeth already? Why does she? <laughs> and then, right? Like, I was like, fucking drop that, babe. She fucking dropped that in there. And she was like, I don't know. Is it, how's this is going to go? And they were all like, oh, well, we're, my baby's fully vaccinated. So we're okay. You know, it's like yeah. the defense is still up really extreme. Even though all these babies that are fully vaxxed are fucking fucked up. Look at them. They have no hair. They fucking look weird. Even the AI is drawing them the way that you see them now. Yeah. It's fucking weird. And then they, all the women, they can't even breastfeed after like a month or two because like something's going on with the vax that's making them not do that. And then the kids are all fucking having weird shit. And that's all in the new peer reviewed papers about pregnancy and the COVID vax is just like the worst scenarios you've ever heard of are true and they're happening right now. But no, people don't want to. So there's a, there's a weird part where how are we going to, keep this world going if we can't have babies you're freezing a bunch of babies because there's this feminist movement that's just like i'll wait till i'm fucking 40 right and how many souls are just trapped on the other side like i, I get and the, like i can't get in i'm just i'm in i'm in an egg that's in a refrigerator some guy from utah jerking off and putting his sperm in me well i mean i th i think there will be a period <clears throat> in the transition where there is a big die off and the population is going to be greatly reduced for a little bit. It's going to be a period in time where there's not many people on the planet, but I think we're going to replenish it by the time we get into the, the new system and the new world and everything is up and running. You know, there's a few of us who are healthy and have you wondered, I wonder how much in the future, somebody like me or you were unvaccinated and how much will all sperm be worth, you know? I mean, that's the weird thing. They just had that thing where it's like they're testing all these men's sperms you're vaccinated and there's some of them that have zero sperm. Oh, shit. Zero sperm count in their 20s, in their 30s. Zero. Gone. I mean, at that point, it should just be like a little fucking flag that comes out. It says Pfizer <laughs> after they come. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> there, yeah, I think there, I'm kind of predicting that there's going to be a period, it'd be a big die off. And then there's going to be a period where there's not many people on the planet. And then they're going to start coming after unvaccinated sperm, unvaccinated eggs. And, you know, they're going to, they're going to be willing to pay the big bucks for that. And then that's what's going to slowly but surely that's start. That's what the bunkers are for. <laughs> that's what's going to slowly but surely start putting fucking normal people back on the planet. Because what would, with all these babies that you're talking about, they ain't got no hair and they're all fucked up looking. What, what, how are they going to grow up? And you know how, how they were talking about that thing where they have they, black eyes too. They've permanently altered your DNA. So technically on paper, you're not a human anymore. So what about them babies? What's going on with their DNA? Well, I warned, and I know that some people that might not watch me not know this, and they, there's reels to me about it. In 2019, I was screaming about, don't have a fucking alien baby. They're alien babies. Because I think what the, the and I've said this forever, it's not, there, there was no spike protein bullshit, coronavirus, it's all a fucking lie. When it comes out that the fucking shit they put in there, because the DNA, it's contaminated DNA. That's what's in the peer-reviewed papers, right? So, like, what they did was they used... Pure fucking, you know, no contaminants in the fucking FDA original shit, right? And in all the peer-reviewed papers, then they went, well, how are we going to mass produce this? They switched the fucking shit to have contaminated DNA in all the fucking vials of every fucking shot around the world, right? And that put DNA, and they're saying it's from fucking monkeys or fucking, you know, apes. But to me, I'm like, there's... There's that weird UFO exposure thing that's happening right now. And they're saying that they know about these non-human beings and craft and so forth that I guarantee you they injected you with that DNA. That's how an alien takeover would take over. So alien babies. So they and alien people, people turning into a weird alien. So you, so they use hybrids, they like use physical ET. hybrids. We're not talking spiritual, physical hybrids. that can't leave this reality spiritually. So they, they used ET DNA. Is that what you're saying? I, th I believe that they've used ET DNA in them. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, so with the babies you know? that were born with that, the ones that you're talking about yeah. that are in the class with uh, Aurora and whatnot, 
Well, how are they going to grow up? Like what kind of person are they going to turn into? Just out of curiosity. I mean, you know, because that's going to be the next generation of people that run the world. So what, I mean, are they going to live a long, healthy life? Are they going to be able to manifest? Are they going to have an energy center? Are they going to have the regular human emotion and belief manifestation systems that most of us do? Or are they just going to be like that's a, cut off from those energy centers? Like human design, how is that going to work with these people? That's what the raves are called, where they only get into these like, <clears throat> it's weird to get into like these like threesomes where they connect emotionally and mentally and then they go do their own weird things where they're not part of the society they just like go off and like they don't speak like you and i the speak hills or, have eyes like, correct and they just like do these weird things like and they're probably br- trying to bring down some weird fucking alien shit down here it's <laughs> fucking cre- creepy i know that to me that's the scary part the scary part isn't a financial collapse. I mean, when you already have that many people vaccinated around the world and we all know, and it's all come out in the last fucking four weeks, six weeks, right? Like that's going to collapse the system already. So that's why people are like, Oh, Bitcoin is like, okay. Is that going to matter when 60, 70% of the population is fucking fucked? Right. Unless there's some fucking God miracle, hopefully. Cause I hope that doesn't happen, but it's already happening, right? The die offs are just happening every day or people are tripping out every day or all the fucking records just got brought out by the fucking VAERS system and the phone number people are supposed to call about how many people called up fucking having all these problems. It was in the millions and they were telling everybody on the news, Oh, it's safe and effective. <laughs> like, and like, and they, Oh, we just had, didn't have enough people. Or we were just showing last week that the fucking blood fucking, from or was I with you on that? That the Red Cross, right? Mm-hmm. Won't, right? Yeah. Like they want to know if you've been vaccinated before you're allowed to give blood now, and yeah. by which fucking brand and when you got it, or they won't take your blood. Well, that's so, a fucking sign right there. So the the okay. So since we're going through the exposure right now, here's where I'm thinking. So now it's coming out that everybody's saying I was wrong. Uh, this was bad, you know. But but that's cool. But when is it going to come out? that they did this on purpose. That's, that's, the- I, I, I know this might sound crazy. And I've said this from a lot of my shows from four years ago that it's not humans who did it. It's not, I know that everybody's all freaked out about or, or tripping about, look at the Rothschild that died today. And the King Charles has been fucking, he might be dead in six months because of his fucking prostate cancer. Like this is where it's spirituality always overrules humans got taken over by dark entities and fucking did this shit. And the humans are just empty vessels that fucking did it. Or were they even humans or were they just funny? Like that's the whole thing. I mean, I don't know. On Epstein Island, they might've gotten injected already with some fucking weird shit. Cause that's the thing. And I keep saying this Epstein wasn't about the Island. He was about the new Mexico fucking property where he paid all the Harvard scientists and everybody because he wanted to inject the world with his DNA. So he was obsessed with his DNA and he thought that the world was dumb at it and he wanted to have everybody to have his DNA in him. And people can look it up. The New Mexico Epstein house, 2019 exposure and everybody having to admit, yeah, we took money from him. He wanted to do a crazy DNA project and he wanted to also put that DNA in vitro into women all right. So Epstein lives through seven, six billion Pfizer shots, possibly mixed with alien. That's the scary part is like people are always looking for, I want the exposure of Epstein Island. It's like, it's living in you. If you took the shot, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just kind of like, cause the awakening is, is happening in a way that, that it's good that everybody understands what happened. You know, but people still aren't getting the full picture. And how slow is it? Is it going to roll out to where people understand that it's not a conspiracy theory; it's a conspiracy fact, and it was done on purpose. I mean, don't get don't get me wrong. I'm glad that, that now it's coming out that a hey, there was a lot of problems. We were wrong. But when when are you going to admit we fucking knew about it? When are you going to admit? Oh, the, you know the news anchors are like, yeah, we we kind of fucking knew that that you shouldn't take this shot. We didn't take the real shot, you know. A lot of them didn't. 
the presidents and shit. They even like, I don't know if I sent you that video or not. That one, who was it? Was it? It was Ivanka Trump's yeah, fucking yeah, shit with the QR code that you did. Yeah, that one too. And and there was that. Well, tell about that. That was fucking mind yeah, blowing. Yeah, that um, where she had her picture on her Instagram, on her Instagram, where she was getting the the vaccine. And then if you zoom in, there's a piece of paper laying on the desk with a QR code on it. And if you scan that QR code, it with goes, your phone. Yeah, with your phone, it'll take you to the Q post that says we're not going to take it. It's fucking insane. Yeah. So. I still, and you did that on your own phone. Yeah. I, I still don't really have like an opinion on the Q thing. I, I don't know. I, I'm just, something's going on here. And, and I just want the world to understand that it's not a conspiracy theory. It's a conspiracy fact. The shit was done on purpose. The whole fucking thing was planned. When, when, when are we going to get to that point where we understand that, you know? I mean, so everything everybody's afraid of right now is not what's going to do it, right? Oh, my God, the migrants at the border, the, the financial collapse. It's going to be so dramatic about, you mean to tell me that the Epstein thing wasn't about the island as much as New Mexico and the DNA fucking shit? And what's in me right so th it's going to be the awakening experience of like we're past the place of retribution to come back and save yourself you're at the place where you have to go and then that's where you have all like john daly on the daily show just fucking or john uh, john um whatever his fucking name is fucking from the daily so stewart stewart fucking john daly the golfer in my head <laughs> fucking literally just fucking it was fucking amazing but it's like one of those things to where if you really think about it with everything happening and the stuff that he's been like kind of like putting out too i don't even know where i was going with that because i got lost in the john daly we were talking about fucking the daily show fucking what were we just talking about oh the, the exposure right the yeah. exposure and fucking all this shit coming out. God, what was it? There was just something that he just talked about that I was just like, fuck, that's exactly what's happening. If people were to wake up and realize, oh, fuck, I can't change what's happened, that I don't even remember what I was going to say, and it was right on the money, but it'll have to come back to me. But fucking the exposure event is not going to be what they're showing you right now of being scared about. The exposure events can be what they're not wanting to talk about. So you have to take already what's happened and you have to see that there was a deeper secret underneath all that. So it looks like it was planned. It was, but what was the plan about? That's the deeper question. And the deeper question is, okay, what's really in the shot. And it's not the stuff that you've heard already. It's something that already has connecting dots. Epstein. I've always said that Epstein's the fucking main culprit. Because that's what came out right before the COVID thing was Epstein and then Epstein's suicide. But then when you looked, it was in 2019 when they raided his fucking New Mexico house. It was all about DNA. And then the same Z that you're seeing fucking in the Ukraine, Russian war is on the house too. It's fucking weird. And then all the bio labs that are in Ukraine, right? that the war is really about that. Yeah, and yeah. now NATO's willing to send all these fucking troops over and they have 90,000 troops fucking training right now that are from all the countries. It's going to be that moment where it's like, who did it? Well, why do you think they're not bringing out the alien shit? It's going to be so not what anybody's afraid of right now. And if you really think about it, it's like the people who are putting out to be afraid about gas are the unvaxxed. It's all the channels on the right that are like, be worried about this. But the vaccinated style media and stuff are telling you everything's okay about that stuff because they don't want to reveal, and I don't think they know either, a deeper fucking darker secret like the secret's so dark that it would not be fun for anybody to realize that when we talk about the splitting of earth it's the splitting of humanity and it's a lot more than ai it's a lot more than 
okay, the gene and changing the gene of a human being. It's the creation of a new species that's not even close to what anybody would want. Mm -hmm. And then the ability for that soul to not go where they want to go. Oh, that's what I was talking about. John Stewart just showed over this Palestine fucking situation and the Israel situation, both sides of the argument that they both want to want to kill each other. Right. But what was crazy in that is like, as he's doing all that, it, he put up like a trigger warning. Cause it's like all this weird shit, but oh, what was it again? It was fucking shit about that. And then people, freaking out about that what was it fuck i just had it again in my mind it just fucking left me it just did it it was on monday they're hitting you with an energy weapon <laughs> I, they be, I bet you they are because i'm about to fucking break people's minds forever that uh, there was the whole idea of this truth but uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to come back to it. That sucks. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. But, uh, yeah, man, I mean, in, in these times that we're in right now, if you think back to 2020, it wasn't just what happened. It was the way everybody reacted. So, like, that's why it's so important, especially eclipse time, Aries season. Yep. You know? That, you know, whatever it is that happens, just look forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait until they throw another shit show. I'm sitting right. here like, I can't wait. I, and that may sound kind of fucked up, but I'm like, I can't wait until I open up my bank and it says zero. I'm going to be like, yeah. Right. Like, I can't wait until they, they do this shit, you know? And, and, and those of us who are able to maintain that high vibration, that, that excitement, like, yeah, you know, let's, the, we're the ones that are going to float to the top. You know, and and that's why I think like algorithms on the Internet take people like us and shows like this and try to push it down. Yeah. Because if, if we were to if we were to be able to put this message out to enough fucking people. Yes. None of it would work. None of it. would. None of it would work. Everybody would float to the top and just coast right through it. We would go straight into that fucking new earth and, you know. We wouldn't have to go through this crazy train ride, but no. unfortunately, the way it's looking, we are about to get right up to the doors of World War Three. Exactly. So and this is where the John Daly just put this about both sides are fucking calling for the the death of each other, right? In Palestine and Israel, both sides, mm -hmm. right? It's controversial because both sides are taking both sides, but both sides are calling to the death of both sides. But this is what he said about how he goes, well, what's the third person involved in that area? The Christians. And this is what they're saying. And I'm just going to play the, the audio because they all believe this. And it's pretty terrifying. Like. There will be the battle of Armageddon. Jesus Christ is going to sweep over that battlefield and to annihilate that army of 200 million people. The blood will flow to the bridle of a horse. <laughs> then he's, you know, all these pastors and shit, they're all saying this fucking crazy right here at the end. He says this. The trump of God sounds and the rapture happens. We're gone. In the twinkling of an eye, we're just simply not here. Who puts the shot more than anybody were the fucking religions? The Pope, all churches. They were the biggest fucking pushers. Why, why do they all have to talk like that? You know? Well, because I think that's going to be exposed that religion isn't the Jesus you think. It is not the Allah you think. It is not the fucking Muhammad you think. It is not any of those things. It comes to some weird alien fucking Pisces, age of Pisces, deception i did a whole yeah. thing in 2016 in vegas about age of deception i've warned about the deception on people with religion forever and it's going to be some weird alien shit that they want your idea of the rapture to be poof gone is happening right now but it's you're not going to some place that you think yeah kind of like uh that's ever, what's creepy you ever seen that movie the island mm. they have all these people um 
underground. They have this whole underground population where on the surface of the earth, they have this program where you can get a clone of you to live underground so that, you know, in case your heart goes bad, they'll go down there and they'll kill your clone. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then so they have this whole population of clone people under the, under the ground, and they that's the only world they know that exists. <clears throat> so whenever somebody's, like, needs a heart from their clone, they come down and they get their clone and they tell them, you're going to the island, you were selected, because that's what they all believe down there in the underground city. They all believe that one day they're going to be selected to go to the right. island. So they go grab and say, okay, you've been selected. You're going to the island. They don't know that they're being pulled into a, a room and killed, you know, and getting their heart taken out. So, you know, that's, that's kind of reminds me of what you just said there that, you know, it's, you, you think it's going to be this and it's not. You're being yeah. Doomed. I mean, it's like all, all of the idea of the virus and all that. It's like Howard Amish people that were fucking cut off from fucking society for six months getting COVID when they weren't around anybody that they could have contracted it from in the cities or whatever. Right. Or there were people in New York that lived like 60 miles away from anybody isolated and they got COVID. So obviously there's something else going on to me. I feel like you water. can think of it as crazy as an asteroid that had an alien weird bug that came down in the atmosphere and came over and went over. And that's why you see all the fucking chemtrails. Like we, we don't know the story about chemtrails, right? We think it's to poison us. It could be also them trying to stop fucking some weird alien fucking thing happening. Yeah. Right. Like people aren't ever wanting to ever look at the other angles, right? Like they always just want to attach to one thing. To me, that's like what's been happening is like, plus the electromagnetic field is 25% lower than it's ever been before. Right. So we don't have as much protection and then the solar flares are coming and the solar radiation. And then we're also getting cosmic rays from outside our fucking solar system that are coming from in our galaxy and from other galaxies that are hitting us. So that can make you fucking sick or weird. And then they create the vaccine to be this idea to get rid of something that wasn't there. And they inject it with something that has never been done before, which is a computer program that's put with lipid nanoparticles. I mean, come on. And if you don't think that those are at the beginning, they said they weren't in there. Now they know they say that they admit that they're in there. Right. So it's like, okay. Yeah. And those are fatty, you know, proteins and shit that carry the fucking coded shit. So it's a computer virus that they're putting into people yeah, and the tests too. Right. And the te PCR test, which yeah, was the ridiculous. COVID tests. And I was told, I actually, I was told this by somebody that I'm not going to name long before the first conspiracy theorist even talked about it, that the COVID tests have hydrogel in them. Right. And, and that's the reason why they would shove it up your fucking nose because they, they want to get it to cross the blood brain barrier and them nanoparticles. And, and that actually has some sort of computer mechanism in it to where once they get that shit up to where it goes through your blood brain barrier, and then you're like connected to the fucking internet. And they can, they can monitor every fucking thing that's going on in your body in real time. Like they could just pull up a computer screen. And say, oh, okay, this 27-year-old female who lives this, they're sleeping right now, or they're eating right now, or they're taking a shit right now, or they're fucking right now. They know it, they like, they, you're connected to a fucking a system now. And didn't you see those videos where people were connecting to Bluetooth? Yep. Like, like your I know. fucking brain was connecting, like, you, they were connecting their bodies to Bluetooth after they got the vaccine or took a COVID test. I mean, and, and, and all anybody has to do is just type in, on Google right now, hydrogel genes. And all it says is DNA hydrogel based gene editing and drug delivery systems or genetic engineering of self-assembled protein hydrogel based stuff. NAH 2007 hydrogels for RNA delivery, 2023. Right. And what is the whole Hyo Hydra thing going around? Hydra is in our galaxy, or sorry, in our solar system, but especially in our galaxy, it especially it goes across and it's the dark, it's a fucking serpent. The Hydra is a fucking like amphibious dark serpent that goes across the fucking zodiac from 
like Leo cancer to cancer to that's what the fucking Ophiuchus is fucking battling. Hmm. Okay. That's what's the aliens, the Hydra. And then when you look up hydrogel under a microscope, it looks like fucking little octopus, little fucking aliens. Hmm. I didn't know all that. <laughs> so it's not, yeah, for me, I always have to connect it. Like, is it in our astrology? Is it in our galaxy? Yeah. Yeah. Hydra goes right through. Right. And then, then you have all these fucking big universities being like hail Hydra. And then they put the fucking like weird fucking Hydra looking fucking alien. And it's on their fucking websites. Like if you, if you, if anybody were to type in hail Hydra, right. Which is like weird because we're in the same time where people were saying hail Hitler back in the day. And now they're, they're saying hail Hydra. Right. And then they put those hydrogels in the fucking shot in the fucking PCR test. Hail Hydra is a phrase used in Marvel comics. Oh yeah. Right. In end game, the movie end game, hmm. or this is the hail Hydra. Right. And they used to call it fictional, but, and it looks like this, right. But what's even creepier is the fucking colleges that were coming out with this. Right. So you can do this at a university. I think it was up in the university of California. Um, oh yeah. UC Davis college, boom of biometric services model of organism Hydra. That's what they look like inside oh wow and that's to live forever the idea of replacing the parts of your genes that they basically re replicate new tissue and new genes right mm -hmm. that you would live immortal so they have it on there <clears throat> immortal hydra eternal life for humans to stay in this reality and never go to heaven so that's why every Christian that believes and took the shot isn't going because they put something in there to keep the physical body here forever. Fuck that. While still being dead. While being dead. That's why they keep fucking incinerating people because that if that's where the zombie thing could really be true. If you invest, if you put Hydra into everybody that's to keep you immortal, but you killed them. The idea of the, the person being dead, but the body replicating the same way the spike protein is replicating people forever. Their own proteins are creating their own spike protein constantly. Imagine Hydra in there replicating all the things, but it's not going to restart your heart or make you conscious anymore, but the body, and that would be a zombie. That's why they keep incinerating people. Well, yeah, in that same... Think of that. That's fucking dark shit right well, there. Well, in that same meeting... Where I heard that, <laughs> in the same meeting where I heard that is where the dude um, pointed to the fine print and a lot of insurance policies that that says po possible zombie apocalypse. This has been something that's that they've known as a possibility for decades now, and so that would make sense. That lines up with with everything I was told. <laughs> so right, so you know how they showed I showed that picture that it was fictional from Marvel. This is on UC Davis's biological website. Here's their Hydra. This is what it looks like. And at the fucking top right corner is what? The same logo. Oh, wow. So it's not fiction, right? And what's crazy is in this one line, they say, as far as we can tell, it doesn't age or die, says Assistant Professor Selena Giuliano, Department of Molecular and Cellular Biology. You can cut little pieces out of the animal and it will regrow. And maybe the most amazing thing is that you can disassociate the animal into single cells, mix them all up, put them back into a ball, and a new hydro will just grow out of it. The last I heard, the, ah, the, the, the I just cut up a little bit of a human fucking vaccinated hydra. If I get it, it'll grow up a new fucking hydra. Isn't the octopus an extraterrestrial? Animal yes, anyways? it is. Yeah, and a lot, and that's the other thing that just came out in the last couple of years. Yeah. So it means it didn't come from Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense. But you know, I don't, I don't, I don't even know where to go with that i think this, <laughs> i don't even know where to take that door you know because 
you know, this is, it's, it's you got to tiptoe through the tulips and not, you know, scare people, but also want to make people aware. But, you well, know. you know, I'm, I'm Dutch. Half of my family's Dutch, right? Come from Holland and that's the place of tulips, just tulip fields. But, you know, there's always a windmill at the end. So you can tiptoe through it until your fucking head's going to get chopped off by the fucking, <laughs> by the fucking windmill. But then it's going to be a hydra head that's going to regrow into a new hydra. <laughs> Then you start sounding like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You're like, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Epstein. And that's what's creepy, though, because that's where we're at, is that, to me, is the bigger thing. And then the weird part is why they're keeping the fucking UFO shit and the UAP task force and all that and the space force. And then they just landed on the moon after 50 years and it tipped over and all this weird shit. Just like all this is happening right now. Right? Like, it's like, okay, what the fuck's really going on? It's like, they don't want to reveal the fucking secret fucking alien weird shit that they made deals with to fucking make more money or to have and to fucking be like, you're here. We're, we're the ones that know how to, you need to put this in the shot. The aliens are like, here you go. And that's where like war of the world, like world war three to me is war of the world. Like the aliens have seeded and like the people who die from the shot, that's why they incinerate them so quick because it's like, we don't want to like start having all these people Hydra out. But I also believe it's because they're like, okay, those bodies can't handle it. Like it's going to be people who really are super dark inside who are willing to rebirth themselves into the new army of darkness. Yep. Yep. That doesn't surprise That's me. That's some dark shit, but that yeah. doesn't surprise me. None. That's the shit I'd be more afraid about yeah. than, yeah. than, Oh my God, there's no gasoline for a couple of days. Like, Oh my God, I lost some, there's no money. The Bitcoin ain't going to save us. Like, you know, like the, the, the fact that that's all they push out there and they don't even question this shit or look up any of this shit. That makes me know that they're all fucking just, well, that's probably what that's the, the, all those podcasts, all those right wing people, all those conspiracy <laughs> shit. They don't fucking talk about this shit. They fucking just talk about the same fucking bullshit and make it. Oh God, be careful. Like the next thing's going to blah, 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 blah. And they, they, like, they won't even fucking give anybody any real shit. Well, that's what the bunkers are for. I know. That's why they're building the bunkers. I try I get it. Yeah. They, they've been knowing that that's, that's a possibility for fucking decades now. <laughs> and I mean, hopefully they're on top of it. Like you said, if they're, if they're incinerating people left and right, <clears throat> hopefully, you know, they, they're on top of it and they, they stop it from happening. So uh, I, again, I still, no matter what truth gets revealed, no matter what crazy shit I hear is going on, you know, I still am of the firm belief <clears throat> that this is a very controlled operation that, you know, that doesn't mean that there's no evil out there. It doesn't mean that there are no bad guys out there. It doesn't mean that nothing bad is going to happen, but I think that there is a force of the greater good that is, very strategically controlling this shit, you know? So hopefully... Well, I mean, there are no physical aliens. They're only multidimensional beings. But for them to incarnate here, they have to take already a human physical vessel yeah, and grow through that. And that's, I think, my main point with it is like, that's how the dark alien war agenda would work. That, to me, would be the bigger wake-up. Like, the humans that did it were some of them maybe coerce and the other parts were just stupid enough to fucking fall for it. And then, and, and then the fact that you saw so many people fall for all this shit, so crazy the the, the idea of like who did it or whatever, when it, it, it's always in a great war and the first radio broadcast of a fucking fictional story was war of the world's. And it was right when we found the planet Pluto and people believed it was happening on the radio. There was a hysteria around America thinking that the aliens were invading when the first radios were out yeah. when they did that. That's exactly what it's going to be. That's the signal that came in. So fucking the idea that it's going to be, oh God, the border crisis or this or that or any of these things people are afraid of. It's like, I'm more afraid of fucking all these aliens that are fucking being gr grown in humans right now. And that's the idea of alien, right? She fucking grows a fucking human and fucking comes out of her stomach. Ah! 
And even that movie, when you go deeper into it, they do the prequels to it, fucking with the Prometheus and fucking all that and, and uh, Alien Covenant, where the original human being from another star system, fucking they go there and they find out that, oh shit, they were fucking meant to come and destroy all the fucking humans because they didn't want it to happen. And they fucking seeded planets with their fucking DNA and all that fucking shit. And then they fucking wake up like we need to go kill all those fucking people. They found us. That's a fucking crazy concept, but that's more in alignment of what's fucking, I think happening than fucking, you know, Oh God, the shit that people are saying on fucking, you know, Twitter and X all day. Like all those things are to me, they're, they're so boring. Mm -hmm. It's so like, you guys aren't even getting to the truth. Like, like the deeper, all of its distractions because nobody wants to fucking talk about, are, are, is, there, is there an alien inside of you right now growing is that why your grandma's acting a little funny why she stopped baking cookies so much and she's feeling depressed they deteriorating her brain right now is that why she started doing weird things with her lips like <laughs> like that's that's more of where I'm at with it all. I mean, I know I know that wasn't where we thought the show was going today, but I, I you know, that's 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 the shit that. That's why I think they just dripped out. There's non-human entities at that fucking shit last year with the big fucking Congress hearing about UAPs, and didn't tell anybody. And everybody thinks it's like some fucking alien that drove a ship, like in Independence Day, when obviously it's more of like. There's no physical body, but there's some sort of weird fucking like Uamua, the asteroid. It's an alien ship, but it looks like a rock. People are like, what? There's these entities trying to come in here and come through human beings. That's how it works. Like if you think about manifestation, if you don't have the ability to manifest and you're an alien into physical, but you, you can, if you can convince somebody to accept it, right? That's the idea of why everybody had to consent to a fucking experimental shot and why it got approved so fast was that's the only way that they could do it. And I think that the religious organizations are the one that are going to have to answer more because then that exposes like, like the problem with the astrology where we're at now is like the Aztecs, they were around in the 1500s. And, and what happened? Spain came over and had this huge fucking war and destroyed and killed all the Aztecs and took over. And that's why we know Mexico and South America today to be Spanish, Mexican, speaking in Spanish, all of South America, because it was Aztec before. But the Aztecs were doing ceremonies of cannibalism. They were killing people and eating them. But at the same time, there was the big question of like, what is all the Christians doing, right? Like, oh, let me drink the blood of fucking Christ through and make it wine. That's a ceremony of wanting to manifest drinking blood every day that every Christian does when they go to church on a Sunday and then eating the fucking body of Christ through a fucking little piece of crumpet. What are they manifesting? That they're fucking cannibals? So we already live on a planet where you have human cannibals doing a fucking ceremony to do it, yet they're trying to make tarot fucking movies, making people look bad that do tarot. Yeah. Yet every Christian going to fucking church every day is like, let me drink the blood of Christ. Like that, that, That's going to make life better? Drinking blood? Like that, you know, and then the Aztecs are doing that, and that's where it's like, who's worse off? Which one's worse? Actually cannibalism of doing it or ritualistic doing it well probably ritualistic is not as bad but it's that's the kind of place we're going to get to like this whole palestinian israeli crisis is the beginning of looking into all of the origins of all the religions that's the setup right it's and then and then everybody getting on what side and what uh, like what's the origin in israel and all the other uh, every that area has been fucking contested by all these people what's the area of palestine that area has been contested but what's the bottom what's the deeper element all of all that shit and why is it that all of those middle eastern countries didn't take the shot that much right like they didn't push it and why is it that an rfk says it great it was a fucking shot that attacked certain genes of people, right? Like 
there were certain groups of people that aren't affected by the shot and others that are horribly affected. Mm. So it was a gene based weapon too to kind of weed out certain groups and religious groups too. So it was a religious weapon too. And there's something about the Middle East that knew not to take that shit. Like, no, fuck that shit. Yeah, that's going to be a big thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the crumbling of the religions. And I think that my man, Billy Carson, is going to be the the main figurehead when it comes to the crumbling of the religions, man. You know, because that dude, Uh, I'm telling you, he, he fucking, I've never... And that, now I'm, I'm glad to see that his work is starting to catch traction. And I'm seeing a lot of other people now talking about, you know, the, the, the real ancient texts that they, they took to write the Bible and the Quran and what they were really saying back then. It's so fucked up that that, that information is available for anybody to go look at, to go yeah. download and read the real ancient texts. And you can say, hey, this was this book in the Bible. They just changed a couple of words around. Dropped a letter on a word, you know, yep. and, the, and then the whole Bible is like that. And now it's starting to catch traction. So that's starting to roll. And here within the next five well, and years. All the missing different parts of the Bible fucking that the Catholic Church didn't make canon law. Right. They don't want people to know the real parts of the story, too. So they just made it like the fucking kids version. But it's all hidden in a Hydra <laughs> fucking cover. And that's the scary part is because then, you know, the farther you go back, which is sad because most people in the world just don't, they hated history. They don't want, they don't, they're not, they're not, they're not wanting to look deeper. Like, I don't want to go there. That, that fucks with my programming. Mm -hmm. Cause now we're in a place to where it's like, there's humans that are humans. And then like, well, shit ton now that are computer virus based, right? They have computer viruses in them fucking telling their body to do this. Like they, they can't, Un, you know, sorry that you don't have a port yet, like in the Matrix, to just plug you in and go. Oh, let me change your coding. That's what they're trying to do next. That's what Neuralink's about. Like, oh, well, we'll go in there and we'll recode, and then you're going to just be a fractured DNA thing, which the Palladian channels have always worried about and said, if you fuck with your DNA, you're never ascending. That you have to activate all twelve, like the twelve helix, right, and get out of this dual helix system. What they've done is they fucking have made it to where people's helixes are fucking like twisted a little bit right now and not spinning like the universe does, not spinning like the fucking around the galaxy that the sun spins like this. And it fucking like people think that the solar system is just stuck. It's actually more like 66 degree angle flying through space. The planets are doing this around the sun and it's fucking flying, right? Like people are not realizing like, oh my God. I'm in a moment right now in my life where I just gave up my whole fucking soul and I'm turning myself into some sort of crazy being. Like if I think of Star Wars and you see all those weird fucking beings, but they're kind of, they're, they all have fucking clothes on and they all have arms and legs. That's what we're moving into. That that little fish that was in your fish tank at the circus back in the day that you fucking threw the fucking little ping pong ball in is going to be your face one day. If that was the code you got. Maybe I'm just shooting the shit, but that's hilarious to be like, you know, like, (laughs) (laughs) That's wild stuff, man. That, uh, that's that's where we're getting into the weird that's going in with the astrology is the weird. And it's the human origin shit. It's the religion origins. And all of it goes back to whether you go to Egypt or it goes back to Mesopotamia. And these motherfuckers were doing some shit that was way more gnarly and intense than even the idea of Moses and the Ten Commandments. Like all that shit is so... old, boring, and uh, created again by men. Like, none of it was like, oh, God was here. Or the idea, like, in Mecca, they go around the fucking big black fucking cube, which is, like, Saturnian. So it doesn't matter if you're Middle Eastern either. You're fucking following into some sort of fucking weird alien thing or the Ben Ben Stone. The idea that in Egypt that's what came down and 
that's what's controlling people and all their fucking religious brains. Like, and come and like all the spiritual people leaving to go to the church now as their hydra arm priests are wrapping their arms to put them under water and tell them, fucking repent your sins and just like, oh, and accept the fucking. So, yeah, Jesus might come as a hydra, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Next year, this and time, he's black, not white. Next year, this time, Michael Jackson. <laughs> next year, this time, I think nobody's going to be the same. Not even me. Not even you. I think we're all going to be very different people. Because whatever it is that comes out, however it comes out, I think it's going to shock everybody. That's the one big thing that that you know. Even even some of the people with the most intel who are under NDA and not allowed to say anything are saying it is going to shock everybody. I don't care how awakened you are. I don't care how aware you are. You know, when this is all said and done, uh, this is all going to go down in a way when it's all said and done that none of us would have been able to predict. You know, that's why I was saying earlier that, you know, I've been trying to drive myself nuts, trying to figure out how some things are going to play out. And I'm, I, I got to be like, no, don't do that. I got to catch myself. Don't do that. Don't worry about it. It's hard, though. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous about the way some things are going to roll out. Not like I'm scared of a worst case scenario, but it's just the unknown. You know, We're, we all kind of have this tendency to be a little bit unnerved by the unknown because that's the way the ego works. The ego wants to know what's coming and it wants to be aware of all challenges and obstacles and, and feel like it's prepared for them. And if the ego doesn't feel like it has a sense of foresight, sometimes it freaks out a little bit and Fuck, I'm the same way. I'm a human too. I want to know how it's all going to play out, but like, I yeah. Know but I that. think I think what they want is they want all the people who fell for it to get really pissed because if you think of manifestation, if you get people in such an angry position, it's like Star Wars. They're going to turn to the dark. Mm, yeah. Right, and and where the force is like, no, nah, you just right, and you wouldn't fall for it anyway. And then if you think of stormtroopers, that's what's happening right now. The idea of the wars and to go into it like, oh, okay, yeah, I got to follow this in order to keep your fucking money from the government, your 401k, your nine to five, whatever. You got to be a stormtrooper now. Oh, and be part of the fucking, you know, first order and all this bullshit. Like that's really the deeper, harder core fucking way to look at it. Because even, you know, all those paperwork that came out showing that by 2025, like all these industries, like anybody who got the shot, like all those recruiters are like, they're telling us, like there was all those whistleblowers being like, hey, I'm just going to blow the whistle. They're saying by 2025, if you took the vaccine that you will not be allowed to have a job in the business, oil industry, this industry, all those industries that are saying that by 2025, no, anybody who took the shot, we won't take them as a job, right? Like, so we're, we're, we're at that weird point where they're about to just do the did it, did it, did it, fucking blow the whole system and then be like, well, yeah, we don't take you if you have this because, you know, I don't know, you're going to end up like in Star Wars, like in the weird bar where everybody's like, well, hello, how are you? <laughs> Wearing an Apple Vision Pro, walking around, fucking having a gill fucking come out and a fucking tentacle coming out. But get my new tampons. What is that city called again? again? And, uh, Nineveh. Nineveh tampons because, you know, Nineveh will be coming out your butt. Because <laughs> the way that this total solar eclipse is going to happen is with Chiron on top. So it's just going to be like, to me, a total solar eclipse is like radiation for cancer. So it's like, it's going to fucking radiate all the fucking dark shit out of people. But it's also going to cook and raise up the Hydra in people and make them Chiron, which makes them look like Quasimodo with their eyes starting to pop out. And those little babies that fucking already are all thin starting to be like... <laughs> I mean, I've been saying this though since 2019. So I mean, there's nothing there's new nothing under new. the sun. That's the way we got here. Yeah, we we. I'm sorry to anybody out there who believes this, but an invisible sky daddy didn't reach down from the clouds and create Adam, and then rip his rib out and create a bitch, and then they somehow created eight billion people. That's not the way that it happened. The way that it happened was other fucking beings came here from other planets and other star systems and they came and started genetically tinkering with the fucking beings that right, were already exactly. here and that's who we are so there's nothing new under the sun right they're just fucking doing it again yeah it's like only fans like you know it's like 
people right now are just like, oh, I only want to be on OnlyFans for Christian and that view. And that's the only people I'm going to pay to watch and understand. It's like, we're a whole different thing. And that's the thing that the Bible tries to uncover, right? It's already wrong when it comes to the dating of the earth or when time started or whatever. Fucking, it's like so bad that like, you know, people are at this point to where they, they just, they just, they have nowhere else to go because they can't find something within themselves and to find the awesomeness of, of humanity, be able to expand and to grow and to be the truth of who we are. Nobody wants to, that's the number one thing is most people repress their truth, right? Like most people are the, why is, why is the most biggest fears in the world public speaking? It's like, because that's you speaking your truth, you know? So people don't speak their truth. The number one fear is public speaking. So most people won't speak their truth. Most people won't. So they won't expect to speak the truth about what's happening about, oh, I follow this fucking story or I follow this fucking Quran or I follow this and it's telling me I have to do this or I'm going to not going to paradise or I'm not going to heaven or I'm going to be stuck with Nineveh and fucking, you know, be judged by God. And that's a city that fucking, what was it? Is it Jacob? No, or it's uh, J- whatever his name. And he fucking has to go and he doesn't want to go speak his truth there. And fucking, then he ends up in a fucking horrible situation. He almost dies and gets swallowed by a fucking big ass whale. And then he fucking has to come out and he has to go and he has to tell all the people the truth. Then God saves the city. Like the fact that people believe that that's the way that it's going to have to go down. Sad. Once I'm telling him to go get my Nineveh, Nineveh fucking tampons. Because they already love blood enough. Go drink your little wine. Drink your wine that the fucking, your priest puts out. Have your blood. So what's wrong for me to tell you? Maybe you should just drink your own fucking Nineveh fucking tampon blood. And give your husband fucking some of that blood too. What's the difference? You already got the tampon, so that could be the body of the Christ, so... And, and we make pads. I know that like women, like we've got ones with wings, so it can be like angel wings, you know? Yeah, man. Crazy times we live in. I get it though. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Let's, let's put on this fucking shit show. I'm, re- I'm ready for it, man. I'm ready for the shit show. I'm ready for the shit to hit the fan and doo doo to start flying everywhere. I'm ready. I mean, I, I think that's what's crazy is it's a re- the rehearsal is already over. It already is right now in front of people's faces. I, I just think people are in frozen mode. They don't know what to like. Like the fact that right now, like people are screaming about genocide, let's say in uh, in Palestine, which is true. It's fucking as far as like it's horrible to see tens of thousands of people die. But to see millions and billions of people that have been dying and it's happening in front of your face and you're watching your loved ones have heart problems and cancers and all this shit. And you're not screaming about that. Like what? Like, like you kind of in like life have to kind of go. Okay. There's more people dying right now every day of fucking this crazy shit that happened over the last four years than there are happening in Palestine, not to put them down, but to be like, maybe people should be focusing on that more than that. But no, because that goes to their religion. So. But anyway, I've got a Hydra cult that I'm starting, and it's got an awesome book that you can start to follow and live (laughs) eternally. Um, I don't know when it's going to come out, but (laughs) call UC Davis and their biological services, um, and they'll they'll fill you in. (laughs) Fucking... I know, bro. It's okay. But we'll be out at the solar eclipse if you want to get fried out or cleared out in the most amazing way in the most amazing moment. And that's definitely going to be a, not just an X factor, but like the point of just holy shit. It's all happening. You said right when you walked in here too, like, well, yeah, airy season, it's all fucking coming to, and it's so true. And I feel it. You know, and and even right now as we're speaking, there's X factor moments that are happening in front of our face, like the crypto thing right now. So people thinking that's going to be what it is when when at the same time you have people having zero balances, like that's the fucking truth. It looks like you're going to make money, but at the end of the day, it all equals zero. 
because they're going to take down all of financial like that. And it's going to be a whole different, when they say different financial system, they mean different fucking financial system. The whole system. The whole system. The idea of the exchange. Globally. Yeah. Not token, dollar, money, yeah. cash. Like I had a client get mad at me one time and say, oh, that's not going to happen where I live. I live in Sweden. Bitch, it don't fucking matter where you are on the planet. Well, Sweden's going to war now, if you didn't know. They're part of fucking NATO. Yeah. It's like, it didn't matter where you are on the planet. That'd be like a Swedish person telling me like 10 years ago, what do you mean we're a neutral country? We don't get involved in all that shit. And then yeah. now it's like, you're sucking the dick of fucking NATO and Biden and want to go fucking into Ukraine? Okay. <laughs> And you're telling everybody in Sweden, okay, uh, make sure you have flashlights and a light because when the wars go down, fucking that you can make be okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's the funniest. Whatever it's these countries or people are like, oh yeah, this is never going to happen to me. It's like, <laughs> that's exactly what's happening. Yeah. Uh, hello. So, you know, uh, <laughs> I mean, and that's the other thing, the, the fucking King Charles just became king, and then, oh, yeah, of course, he's got cancer now, and now they're saying he has six months to live. Like, they're swapping all that. Like, everything's being swapped for this new thing. Yeah. And that's what happened in World War II, right? It was right before Churchill became the prime minister, it was like, oh, they had Chamberlain, and he tried to make his deal with Hitler and told everybody it was fine and made his little airplane flight back, and everybody was all happy. That's exactly what you're seeing right now. Biden's a Chamberlain AI. Like all this shit is about to get pop off crazy. Everything's happening. And maybe people themselves have to take a cognitive test about what's really happening because that's the projection of the AI hologram of Biden to people is that they're walking around like that. <laughs> Or like that guy said, every day I'm now having to sit here and think what the fuck's happening to my body. I feel weird. I feel, oh, God. I already told you that would be a panic attack that would ruin my life if I had gotten that shot. Mm -hmm. would, and I don't mean to be mean. It's just like we have to be honest at some point and just be like, there's people that can go help. Like there's natural remedies that are looking like they're starting to work, but. You know, if you just think drinking the, the, the wine and the crumpets in line at church are going to do it, well, ask yourself, why are you drinking the blood of Christ and it's not the blood of Christ? If you really are that Christian, you would want to go try and suck any of the blood out of the true cross that the fucking Catholic Church supposedly has and lick that shit. Start licking fucking like a lollipop or a Tootsie Roll Pop to get to the center of the fucking blood of the fucking cross. But no, you wouldn't do that. awakening experience so <laughs> we'll see you team light events no wait teamlightstore.com forward slash events yeah. april 7th 8th it's going down in about a month and it's a leap day tomorrow so we're all leaping into something weird oh yeah it's gonna be a good one yep maybe that's why they're gonna legalize mdma here soon and 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 psychedelics just so people fucking get into those other realms with their hydra so the aliens fully connect maybe it's a good thought yeah and if you have gills or weird tentacles or weird shit that starts popping out please you know report to your local doctor who will probably give you more of the same stuff and want to see him come out have a nice <laughs> I'll see you next week. <laughs>